welcome to the next episode of Deacons with D. I am Dietmar Osterman. I'm your host this afternoon, and I'm the regular guy from Long Island. This episode brings us back to Napa Valley, back in 1976. British wine merchant Steve Spurrier organized a wine tasting in Paris, referred to as the Judgment is Paris. There were 11 judges, nine of them were French, top-notch sommeliers in French restaurants, as well as experts writing about the wine industry in France and some um, established winery wine tasters and wine experts, and Stephen Spurrier, as well as his assistant, Patricia Gallagher. So Stephen Spurrier was the only Brit, and Patricia was the only American. The other nine judges were French, and of course everybody thought at that point in time, in 1976, that the French white wines and the French red wines are the best in the world, hands down. Nobody really had heard at that point in time of wines from California, Napa Valley, but Stephen Spurrier felt there was something there, and he wanted those French judges to taste firsthand. And so they did a blind tasting. Every judge drank about 10, 15 wines. First they drank white wine, then they drank Cabernet Sauvignon and French Bordeaux against each other. Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa, and of course the French Bordeaux more left side Cabernet Sauvignon based French Bordeaux. But they started off with Chardonnay. And of course, nobody expected that the American wines would have a chance and see, lo and behold, in the category of the Chardonnays, of the white wines, the Napa Valley Chateau Montelena won the competition. Second place was the 1973 Mersault Chamboulo. But the Chateau Montelena from 1973, the Chardonnay won. That's why I invited to my tasting here, Chateau Montelena. And then even more importantly on the red wine category, where everybody thought French Bordeaux wines are the best in the world, against heavy, heavy first gross French Bordeaux competition, the Stack Sleep SLV, the Stack Sleep Wine Cellar SLV beat the competition, occupied first place in the red wines as well. Second was Mouton Rothschild, the 1970, and third was the 1970 Chateau Aubriand. Both of them first gross legendary French Bordeaux today worth a thousand dollars. This Stack Sleep SLV even today cost two hundred dollars. The wine that won in the competition was the 1973. And then, if you think this was an exception, they repeated the tasting in San Francisco two years later, and again, this time among American judges in a blind tasting, the Stack Sleep Wine Cellars SLV won again. At the 10 year anniversary, another upset. Another American wine won, this time the Staxi didn't score first. And then at the 30 year anniversary, Stack Sleep Wine Cellars, the 1973, came in second place. First place was the 1971 
Ridge, also from Napa Valley. So, as part of the occasion, I have for you here a great year. This is 2016, best year in Napa in the last decade. And I'm going to open up the Stack Sleep Wine Cellars SLV. And I'm also opening up the Chateau Montelena 2016. Let's go ahead and give the honors to the winner of the Judgment of Paris. And ladies and gentlemen, I have here with me in this show, as in every show, my longtime friend and partner on this show, Corky the Cork Owl. <laughs> We're gonna give the SLV the honors and decant it. Ladies and gentlemen, what we see is a deep ruby wine, almost leaning a little bit towards the purple. You can barely, I'd say, barely, barely see the stem through the deep ruby wine. It's a beautiful looking wine, thick lines in the glass, indicating high alcohol, high sugar content. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Laid back aromas, it's not in your face, it's elegant, multifaceted aromas. I can detect some graphite, the legendary cocoa that uh, this SLV is uh, known for. Also the blackberry in the nose. Very beautiful aromas, let me get another sniff in. Baking spice. On the fruit side, blackberry is dominating a hint of blackcurrant. Beautifully layered flavors. What um, the winemaker, uh, Marcos Notaro, says about his wine, the SLV and the cask and the Fay, the cask 23, which is the best of the SLV plots and the best of the Fay plots is he appreciates the complexity and the length in the wine. Well, there is certainly a complexity here in the nose. Beautiful oak aromas, a little bit of this baking spice mixed into the oak. The blackberry comes out, the cocoa, beautiful. Let's give it a whirl. Oh. On the palate, beautifully balanced. The acidity at this point in time, medium. Uh, the tannins, medium. Full body wine, high alcohol wine. Very, very pronounced fruit flavors of blackberry, oak, the cocoa. It's a beautiful wine. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot do any differently and to give this wine a 5.0. Oh. That brings us to candidate number two, the Chateau Montalena. I visited both of these vineyards in my last trip to Napa. Take a look here at that video of these two beautiful properties. This is the beautiful Jade Lake, part of the grounds of Chateau Montalena. Another look at the beautiful Stack Sleep District mountain range in the visitor center and tasting room for Staxley Wine Cellar. The Fay 
vineyard. It's the second vineyard from here. And you can see in between this vineyard in the foreground in the Fay vineyard some of the black trees. They are still the result of the 2017 wildfires here in Napa Valley. <music> Cork pops right out and Corky just got the appetizer is ready for the main course <laughs> okay ladies and gentlemen I'm gonna decant the Chateau Montiliana 2016 as well okay what do we see here Wine is uh, deep ruby again, a tick lighter than the Saxley Wine Cellars SLV. You can see more clearly the stem at the bottom of the glass when you're looking in from the top. Good looking wine, the lines in the glass not quite as pronounced. Let's give it a sniffy sniff. Dust on the nose, a little bit more red fruit and black fruit, a little bit of spice, a little bit of uh, anise, blackberry on the black fruit, a little bit of cherry and raspberry on the red fruit. The oak comes out after shaking it around a little bit from the oak aging process. Again, a multifaceted good Cabernet. Let's give it a whirl. Pronounced food in the mouth, beautiful to drink right now. Wow, this is a wine. I'm really positively surprised. Chateau Montiliana. Pronounced fruit profile of cherry, raspberry, less so black fruit, but a little bit of blackberry mixed in. There's some nice spice on the palate. A little bit of uh, anise and beautiful cedar wood tones overall i'm very impressed with this wine as well i'm giving it just a tick down 4.8 4.8 but the chateau montelena sells for 65 dollars whereas if you want to snatch one of those Staxley wine sellers slbs you're gonna have to uh, put out $200. Ah! But it's a Wine Spectator, 93 point rated wine, 4.5 on Vivino. I give it a 5.0. I think Wine Spectator underrated this wine. This is as good as Napa Valley Cabernet gets. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like this show, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Vivino. And I see you next Sunday.